What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. I am so excited because today I am making a custom Nick freaking gauge. And at the time of filming this, I'm like seven subscribers away from a thousand. That is so crazy to imagine. When I first started my YouTube, I'm, I'm gonna go into a short little spiel here and then we'll get this video started. But when I first started YouTube, a thousand subscribers? That was a joke. No, I was never reaching a thousand subscribers. I was just going to do it for a little bit, have some fun until COVID's over. But, I mean, it's actually really fun, and I enjoy doing it. And I'm almost at a 1,000 subscribers. That is amazing. Thank you all for watching and supporting my videos. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. Today, I'm making this Nick Gage figure. So here's all the parts I'm gonna need. And big thanks to BPW200, he's right here. Hello. He provided me with with this, 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 this. And so we, we did a few trades. So first, I'm gonna start off with the base. This is gonna be the base that I'm using this uh, Tully Blanchard Elite. I think it came in a four pack with like Arn Anderson, Ric Flair. Yep. Who and else? Ole Anderson. Ole Anderson. And so here it is. This is the base I'm gonna be using. I'm going to put this these AJ Styles knee pads on here and then these Big Show boots. Um, I just really just any black pair of lace-up boots, these knee pads. I'm going to be painting the lower legs black. For the head scan, I'm going to be using this Ryback basic head scan. If it'll focus. I'm going to be using this basic Ryback head scan, painting the beard black. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to use this Undertaker bandana for the head and then this... Hangman Adam Page bandana for the neck. And then I'm going to make a custom MDK t-shirt out of this Maverick 24-7 shirt. And then these Tommaso Ciampa pants. So I was going to use this Orrin Anderson Elite. But, focus, the lower legs were too big. Since I'm using such big boots, I wanted smaller lower legs. And his build, Nick Gage's build, is almost exactly like this. So I thought this would be perfect. So without further ado, I'm going to show you all how to make this. Let's go. Okay, guys, I got all the parts switched, got these knee pads, boots off. I got the black boots, black knee pads, bandanas, shirt, right back head scan that I'm going to paint. paint. First, I'm going to paint these lower legs black, and we'll go from there. All right, guys, so yeah, I got I got this figure so far. This is, this is my progress. I have all the parts on. The only thing I need to do is paint the beard and get the t-shirt. So I have this Maverick 24-7 t-shirt. I'm going to be adding an MDK logo on it, and I'm going to show you how. I'm not really going to show you how, but if you want to learn how to make your own custom t-shirts, a big shout out to my guy, LegendKiller23, link in the description to his video on how to make custom t-shirts for your action figures. You can literally use any shirt. You can just get your own shirt that you have, like a real shirt that you actually wear. Cut it up, like a shirt that you don't wear, maybe. Cut it up and make your own t-shirts. Link in the description to that video. Watch it after you finish this, but trust me, it's going to look sick. So... Boots, knee pads, pants are on, or shorts. Um, all I got to do, like I said, paint the beard and uh, get the shirt, and it's going to look sick. So let's do that right now. All right, so I have the shirt here. Once you have your logo and you want to peel it off, once you have the transfer paper and you want to peel it off, it's going to take forever. And so once you peeled it off, we're just going to... Spread the shirt out as much as you can. And just... Let's see, is that... Is that good? Let's see. Got to straighten it out a little bit. You want to get it as straight as possible. There we go. No. There we go. All right. So then you're going to want to set this just right on top. Sorry, I don't even think you saw it, but... You want to peel it off, stick it on there. Uh, it doesn't really stick. It's just you want to just place it on there, put this over it, and then iron it on. So, yeah. All right, guys. I got the logo uh, ironed on. I painted the beard. I kind of messed up on the beard, but it looks pretty dang good. I'm proud of it. That looks pretty good. This is my first ever, like, I mean, I've done a bunch of custom before, but this is, like, my first custom that I've, like, 
switched a bunch of different parts. I, I used like four different figures just for this, but I'm pretty proud of it. So yeah, by the time I'm uploading this, hopefully I've reached a thousand subscribers. And if I have, thank you so much. Um, Yeah, I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to drop a like and hit that subscribe button if you're new. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.